<laughs> Robin. Hey, I got to bring up something from yesterday's show. We had um, old school rock. Wow, I was about to say we had J Lo on the show. I felt like we had her on the show it yesterday. Felt like because she walked in front of our studio a couple of times. She looked lovely too. She walked. Uh, yeah, she walked in front of our studio three times. Uh, there was a whole thing going on with Jimmy and his picture and me, me. and and uh, and would she sign the picture? Yeah, it was a big deal yesterday. Hopefully you heard it because it was pretty funny stuff. Oh yeah, I made a video about it. It's on my YouTube channel, Opie Radio, and uh, I wasn't even gonna like bring it to anyone's attention on the show today. It's it is what it is, and it's pretty cool, whatever. But then I was reminded that uh, Mars's reaction in the video. Yeah. It's so ridiculous. It's so over the top. It's so it's over the top. So... That's all people are talking about as far as this uh, particular video goes. Yeah, it's way over the top. It's somebody, somebody would do that that is probably a little less mature than you, Mars, <laughs> yes. is what I'm saying. Uh -huh. uh, and Mars, how many kids you got at home? Three. Uh, <laughs> and and, and, and you've been married a while. And you're yes. doing this during this uh, uh, video. Uh, it's more of a gonna, visual, unfortunately, a visual. but we'll be able to explain it if you haven't seen the video. Is the audio good, uh, Danny? Uh, it's, yeah, it's good enough. You it's good enough? It. Okay. You could definitely And, and the way you try to relate with Patrice in this is just fantastic. Yeah, you're not going to get anything yeah, yeah. from Patrice. You, you're you hoping, lock eyes with him, hoping to, you, you know, you're almost hoping for a up top, Patrice. Yeah, you're up hoping, top with me. You're hoping Patrice is going to give you a bang back. I don't like your attempt at minority bonding. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can we see it? All right. Let's All right, see. So oh, this is, right. Yay, Jimmy! Just, <laughs> just to set it up, uh, J-Lo is about to walk uh, by our studio for the last time. But, yeah. of course, every time she walked by, we stopped the show. Yeah, just we'd to have look. to look at J-Lo's famous ass. And I remember yeah. this moment. It was uncomfortable in person. It's going to be worse now. Yeah. You do yeah. remember this? Of course I do. <laughs> of course I do. All right, here it is. Ain't happening, man. <laughs> okay, here All right, here we go. go. J-Lo's now. Go. All right, she's walking. Oh, bang! Oh, my bang! God. bang. Oh. <laughs> bang, baby, bang! <laughs> Later today, I'm making a video of Mars's reaction to J-Lo's butt. It's got to be, that's got to be looped at least 20 times. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not, at least 20 times. And then, then a slow-mo. <laughs> Wait, does he walk back into frame at all? Can you let this play? Because there might be a further humiliation. Uh, uh, <laughs> he still has the finger. He still has the finger. Wait. No, then it becomes... Well, hold on. Oh, there's Mars over there. He's calmed down. Yeah, now he's chilled. Yeah. Chilled out. It's right. the only way... Let me see the bang baby bang again. Oh, it's fucking yeah. horrible. Oh, wow. Yeah, Mars, you nice. want to try to explain yourself on this one? Yeah. Well, let's see, it, uh, let's see it again. Yeah, let's right. see it again. <laughs> <laughs> this shit ain't happening, man. <laughs> All right, here we go. J Lo's now. All right, she's walking. Bang! Oh, my God. Bang! Oh! And look, you, you're looking at Patrice like you want to kill him or something. Yeah, it's like not... you got that ghetto look. Like, yeah, right. Yeah. You went, you feeling me? It wasn't. No, it wasn't about Let's giving it to me at the top. Then. It was more like uh, convincing him that uh, this is the only way I, you could get your point across. Yeah, but look oh, at Travis's face. Wow. Danny, Danny turns his head. Everyone's smiling. Patrice is, uh, I'm sure you can't here. see Patrice, but I'm sure he's doing some smug like... <laughs> he made us uncomfortable. You can't appreciate that piece of no, ass? No, sure we can. You're, you're, we all appreciate it. When she walked by the first time, all three of us at the same time, yeah. by the way, said, holy shit. But you just went over the top like you were 12. I got a little overzealous. She's always uh, been a person that I would love to uh, see bang. up close. A bang, yeah, well, you could want to say that. Bang, bang baby, bang. bang. If you want to bang, yeah. It wasn't bang. that your expression of manliness. We all agreed that we would have let her shit in our mouths. I, mean, I think whoa, I speak for whoa. the group. Whoa. I think I can speak whoa, for everybody whoa. here. But... Does Mike Rowe have some of that on his finger right now? <laughs> oh, God, dude. Uh, <laughs> that comes with the sludge oil on his finger? That was perfect timing on you. Yeah. I looked up, and there's Mike Rowe with some shit on his finger He's right got there. that engine gunk oil. <laughs> right. Probably ink from the fucking other contract he signed. I know. Jesus, does he make a lot of dough. Enough with Mike Rowe on every commercial. And you know what? It, in the end, the whiskey didn't help. He just doesn't... We, we, we lost him. him. We dissed him. We, we didn't mean to diss him. We'll I get back to Mars did. in a second, but we had Victoria Gotti in. I know. And she was a bit wordy, and we didn't know how to shut her up, because she's, she's John Gotti's not gonna tell, fucking uh, daughter. Did we, did we lose Mike for good? I think we I lost him for good. But we had a good segment with him, but he likes to hang for the whole show. We did 20, 30 minutes with him, and then Victoria Gotti came in. We thought we'd get back to Mike Rowe. We never did, because none of us talked. We just listened to her for Mike an hour Rowe, straight. He does great radio, too. And then uh, I think it was a bottle of whiskey. Oh, we got him a bottle of Blue Label. Blue Label. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, oh, here's Roland. Do you have an update on Mike Rowe? 
Oh. Look at him. He's just, he's, is he limping? I don't know. Roland. Roland, are, so. are, are you, you limping? Are you limping? Hmm? Are, are you, you limping? limping? Uh, I have to take a crap. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ, uh, he is the best. No, but I just can't bite. No, Mike, Mike's coming in the studio. I talked to him. He's fine. Oh, I blame some man. people. Back the bus up. And they go, oh, okay. I saw you guys, I think in March or April. Oh. You sure? Oh, yeah, I just talked to him like a month oh, ago. Oh, God, thank God, because oh, no, I really sure. thought he was uh, he was out. No, no, he's I've good. been assuming he's been out for months. <laughs> All right, he's, he's got, got shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Why don't you go fucking... God, that is going to just wreck the toilet. You know what it's going to look like? It's going to look like the stump left after lightning strikes a tree. <laughs> <laughs> that pile with the... It's a little pointy. Yeah, but just thick, like a thick <laughs> tree stump. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Roland takes tree stump shits. That is just a wrecker. They're like bodybuilder calves, all of his shits. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> Mars, you can explain yourself or what? Uh, Mars, well, coming. Um, uh, your reaction was a, it was a little, little uncomfortable. Over the top. It's a little over the top for what it you, was. Did you say bang? Yes, I did. Twice. Yes, I did. Why? No one says that. Because the brothers all think that the only ones with the nice big asses are sisters, uh, and he always has this. Uh, but her ass is notoriously good. Everyone agrees. Exactly. Exactly. That's my point. You don't have to be black to have that Wait, type of ass. The Ricans got the nice asses. Yeah, and so do white girls. Yeah. I think Ricans have better asses than black girls. Mm. No, because, uh, well, most black girls like a lot of salt in Black their girl eyes. asses are too big. Too, too much. Well, too much. Latina too much. girls, got, if you like like a, a, a bubble ass, yep. Latin girls got good asses for that. I like regular, you know, skinny white chicks. <laughs> but uh, that's just me. Right. Black chicks too too big. Too big. Too big. Uh, a bit intimidating. You know, Italians also boys. they come in with some hefty oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. maximus. They yeah. get the uh the little he heavy bottom. But why bang? I don't know. Why the angry uh, did like you snap too? The gangster walk. I away. think there was a was, snap in there. Too. I was very excited. I saw yeah. J Lo. Did you on. say that's what I'm talking about? That's right, baby. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's what I'm talking <laughs> about. But you weren't talking about it. <laughs> well, yeah, no one was talking about it. I was trying to prove a point to old uh Patrice. What? Do you know what you did? Wait, Wait a minute, hold Wait on. Minute. His reaction is the exact reaction I give when I hit blackjack on a sixteen thousand dollar hand. That's it. I go, bang, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, but you got $16,000. Exactly. You didn't get anything out of that. I got close to her. I got close to her. <laughs> yeah, and then, you know what's so funny is like, man, you got together with the rest of the... Uh, Puerto Ricans? Thank you. You're Thanks, welcome. Thank you. Because you, if I said it... You would have oh, got in trouble. We would get in trouble. Holy shit, Because we can't... Yes. Wow. You have to walk around here making believe everyone is the exact same <laughs> exactly. color. Exactly. And you know, the S, by the way. There was an there was entourage in our Puerto Rican yesterday. Look at the size look at of that shelf oh, ass in the Daily I News. I thought you were going to say, Kenny, come in here. <laughs> yeah, the Daily News uh, got a nice picture of oh, Jay wow, signing the, wall. Signing yeah, yeah. the, uh, the... Sanctioned wall. The sanctioned wall. She looked good. No, but Mars said it. But when everyone got word J Lo was coming around, Mars searched out his 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 brothers. Excuse me, yeah, yeah, they yeah. searched me out. No, they oh, searched yeah? them out. But you guys were all hanging out like a little pack. Exactly. Yep. Waiting for the J Lo. Doing Absolutely. some wilding. What's the matter, sweetie? Getting ready to do some wilding. Some wilding on J Lo. <laughs> <laughs> a wilding. No, not what not with that monster she had with her. Did you see that guy? Oh, oh shit. Who's that? Alexis Texas. Would yeah. you smell that? That's Alexis Texas. Yes, sir. I would eat anything that came out of it. <laughs> look at that. I Let me like see her ass a little. Scroll, Opie, look, look at that white girl. Yeah, that's yeah, awesome. That's nice big ass. Uh, yeah, is. but we don't, you're not going to get a bang out of us. Jimmy's it's amazing. Thing with but... Belladonna, you would love. I'll forward it to you. Oh, I would love that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's, uh, I love porno. She's got to have a little more than white in her to get yeah, ass. Honestly, that. she has a Puerto Rican. Uh, she has I, white know, white I, know. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> bang! Bang! That's yeah. what I'm talking about. And the way he about. looks, the way he turns and looks at Patrice is like, it's like he's gonna fight him. You picked the wrong guy. Patrice is not gonna give you anything back. No, even, I, even if he was thinking. Patrice the exact is the same one that thing. said she's like forty years old. That ass gotta be fucking. That, that ass is dropping. That he ass said. dropping to no, the floor. I, you should take them pants off. That ass just hit the floor, motherfucker. I learned my lesson with Patrice about getting anything back. One day he was coming up the hallway, and I, I was like, "Yo, brother, what's going on? Oh, it's, no, give you love didn't say to that. the Latino." He left me hanging. He said, fuck you two guys. White and Latinos can... Like, <laughs> yeah. You ain't black. <laughs> if it was a black guy, he wouldn't do it. Patrice just wouldn't do it Where you at with, with the, anyone. Where you at with Vita? Is she the ultimate ass? No, um, sh to be honest... Remember, with, she was all about yes. the ass for about well, two, three uh, years straight. I huh? was telling people this, that J. Lo... Guerrero or something like that? Guerrero. Vita Guerra. No? Guerra? Yeah. Um, J. Lo oh, is Vita the second... 
J Lo is the second person that I've seen up in per, up in close and personal that actually looks better than in TV or in uh, in pictures. Who's this bitch? This well, is the best thing I've ever seen in, the, in my entire life. It, her name is Kira Augustina. It's by far. She was just some chick. <laughs> I don't know where she came uh, from. Let me see uh, her face. She's retarded. Holy shit. Oh, that's, she's fucking Literally perfect. retarded? That's great. I love that. I've never seen it's an so ass easy this, to fuck. this perfect. It's just perfect. It's all shiny, too. It's yeah, she's greased up that ass. She shined it up for you. Oh, oh man. Holy shit. Mm, mm. What's her face look like? Mm. Yeah, what's her face look like? Yeah, I Let me see that yeah, she's very, very Let me see that grill. Does she look like a... Does she, I'm say that grill. <laughs> does she look like a burn victim? Like the fucking... Like the, uh... The counselor on Celebrity Rehab with that dumb hat. Uh, I'm obsessed with his awful hat and wig. <laughs> You're watching Celebrity Rehab? Yeah, but a little bit. What, whatever his name is. I don't know what his name. I always forget his name. Dot Bob or something. His fucking yeah. hat and awful wig yeah. are embarrassing. A wig. Is, is it a wig? Account? Is it a wig? <laughs> I never knew. It's like Sandy Duncan's hair. That's why the hat. It's fucking. I did hideous. not know that. You, uh, you like Celebrity Rehab? It's okay. What, what, what don't you like about they're, it? They're not hard enough on them. Like, they, I mean, they're newer to recovery, but I think sometimes you have to tell someone, you know what, you don't want to do it? Bye. I think we talked about it, but my biggest problem with celebrity rehab is the fact that Dr. Drew's not acknowledging the obvious, which is that they're addicted to fame. Yeah. 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 Which puts him in a weird spot, obviously, because he's got a hit on his hands. Yeah, but, but they're the, it really is the fame addicted aspect. to fame more, yeah. than they're, more than what they're using. Yeah. Yeah. They can't wait to get on that show and tell the world they're they're smoking. Fucking. I'm doing crack and yeah, and then fuck up and be be like the big person of the show for that season. What? Yeah. Speaking of crack, nice. what's going on there? Holy yeah, shit! Wow. Nice ass pictures. Wow! 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 I haven't seen one. Oh, let me, sorry, let me see this girl's on, shitter. Hang on, now look at the one with the little uh, boy shorts. <clears throat> oh wait, what was that bikini one? She knows how to wear the boy shorts. Look at yeah, that. That's good. That's a hiney. It's a nice boy. What's your name? Who is this bitch? Her name is Kira, K E Y R A Augustina. Do you think she knows she has a nice ass? <laughs> she has eight thousand ass pics of her. They're all ass pics. I know. If there's any more ass pics, you have to go in. Is this a, a glossary? Why, do, why does Why does duty have to come out of something so lovely? <laughs> why? Why does why? it have? Why does duty have to come out of that? I like the. Would you why like the Why can't duty come out of your fucking heel? It's like beauty. <laughs> it's why? like beauty and the beast. <laughs> right? Why? And if they're a little lazy, then it takes the goodness away. <laughs> that really is like the the hottest thing, and then just shit. And you know that duty comes out of it. Uh, it's made for shit. Why couldn't God figure out where, put a hole somewhere else that you don't give a shit about, right? Do you like the way yeah. the thong disappears between the cheeks? I like everything about that. Is she the one in those white, that famous picture in those white yes, shorts? the white tight, uh, oh like they're painted on pretty much. Like, well, is she Spanish girl? Yeah. Mm -hmm. From where? Spain. Uh, you know what? I'm not. I, I can't remember. Who what does she do? Is she a model? Nothing. Or is she yeah. porn she girl? got well. She got famous because oh, of, of these ass. pictures. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she fuck. ended up. She ended up in like the Mexican Maxim or some shit like that. Whatever or FHM something. Like that. But it, it came from some just some site like where hot chicks get posted, and she kind of made a little career out of it. Oh, I'd love to smell her ass. Like, oh, I've been oh. cutting gassers. That's all right. Oh, oops. I had some beans. Oops. Yeah, she's just Oops. delicious. Oh, whoopsie. She's just delicious. Hey, uh, thank you, Mars. So you look like a complete idiot yesterday, God. and we appreciate it. Look at that fucking thing. Hey, um, uh, I saw a movie last night. Did you see a movie last night, Jimmy? Did you see a movie, Anthony? Um, no, I didn't. I didn't watch any movies last night. I was watching news. I was watching. Well, I watch when I work out sometimes. It gets me through the workout. Ah. So, uh, what do you like? You got to work out to something, probably. You know, I rented um, big that'll wait. Can I ask you a question sure. before? Because I know this is going to get ugly. <laughs> you just said something that. Can I take my iPad to the gym and watch a movie? <laughs> yes, you can on your uh, Netflix. I do it on. No, you just download. You can rent it from iTunes, so it's on there. Right. You don't have to stream it. And once it's on your iPad, I do it to my laptop and then transfer because it's faster. And then you can uh, put it on top of the elliptical, put your headphones in, and just watch the movie while you're working out. Holy but you only shit. have. Rentals on iTunes suck because you, once you start watching them, you only have 24 hours to finish. Oh, yeah, I don't care about But you can that. do that over two workouts. But I could do a little Netflix. <laughs> yeah, it gets me an hour on the... Uh... Yeah, because I get bored on those dumb machines. Sure, so do I. If I got a movie that I wanted to see, that, yeah. the time will fly by. So I saw Exit the music doesn't shop. do it anymore. How great is that very movie? Very fucking good, man. I'm waiting for Anthony, and then we gotta and got to have a one. full discussion Yeah, it's this. very, very good. Yeah. What did you like about it? I, mean, I already knew the story because Jonathan told me, but... Uh, 
You like the Banksy? Banksy's interesting. I mean, uh, it also showed what dummies people are in L.A. Uh, although that can happen anywhere, oh, but yeah. what but, sheep people are. But who are the dummies? Like, is this a gag on us, the people watching the movie? Like, uh, No, I mean, I, th I, I was wondering to myself, is this a documentary about street art? That Banksy wanted to get out there, but then I thought, no, it's not. It's actually legit. Um, Basically, the movie is a, you, they turned the camera on the guy that was actually filming all the street guys. Yeah, and he winds up street having artists. a weird, this art And shit. then he becomes like the focus of the entire movie. And then this guy, Banksy, who's legendary, that people don't really know what he even No one knows who like. he is. He, his art sells for millions and millions of dollars. He's a fucking... Uh, he's very good, though. I mean, it's really interesting stuff he does. Street art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's you know the You know uh, the, uh, the Obey... Well, that's, yeah, the yeah, other, yeah, that's the other guy, though. It's uh, San Francisco. Shepard Ferry. Shepard yes, Ferry you. is the uh, Obey. That's the pop. Obey. That's like the pop. You he's know, the one that did Obama's thing. Street art yep. that's going on. So then yeah, they, this, this is Banksy. So thing. then Banksy turns the cameras mm -hmm. on the guy that was actually supposed to put this yeah. documentary about street art together. And then Banksy kind of tells him to become a one of these street artists, and then he does, and then he has a show in L.A. and like uh, that. Th then it brings us to where Jimmy's at, where it shows how stupid people in L.A. are because they go to the this this art show and start buying his shit for a lot of fucking money. Some of it was okay. So though. then you're wondering, is that a goof? Like, did he even make that art? Did Banksy make that art and say, no, we're gonna make believe you made the art? Like, no. There's a lot going on with this movie that I, I, I'm still wondering. I don't about. want to blow it for him, but they show how the art got made. It's, it's, it's very interesting. And it's, it's like, it's amazing. I'll watch it. Yeah. What it's a really good movie, are. man. It's real. It's one of my favorite movies yeah. in a long time. So, yeah, I wanted to see that documentary. Um, I'm out of buying. Uh, I wanted to see a movie. I wanted to see, uh, Twilight. So I bought it. Uh,. But it was nineteen ninety nine on iTunes. I bought it in HD, so I could. I didn't finish watching. I've only watched half because I did on the in the gym. So I saw like an hour while I was on the elliptical machine. Hold on, hold on. You yeah, you got to go back to uh, the part about what did you actually purchase? Twilight. Twilight. I hope you're leaving a word out like the and then zone, zone. movie <laughs> or something because. No. You you mean the vampire Yeah, I wanted to see that queen fucking hit sensation with the the uh the vampire guys that all the girls love and the stupid fucking love story between yeah. vampire and you watch that. I did and it's funny. Why? I've been trying like I've been wanting to see it. Uh, Why? It, it, it looked in Ozzy's concert he does these uh Oh boy, I knew it would have to come down to Ozzy. No, he goofs on these Whatever pop culture videos are popular, like he, they, 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 you know, they green screen him in, and he makes an ass out of himself, like Jersey Shore. <laughs> it was very funny this year. And one of the ones was there's a scene in the woods where he picks her up and he runs up a hill with her, and Ozzy parodied that. Except when he opened his shirt, you know, he had tits. You know, it's just typical Ozzy <laughs> silliness. Yeah, of course. But I'm like, ah, oh, that movie kind of would probably be. I'd like to see that. And I, I said to my girlfriend, like, let's watch that. And she's like, what are you a faggot? No, yeah. like she really was. <laughs> Your girlfriend again. Totally right. Brutal. <laughs> no! Like that type of... Yeah, but, but she's right. Why would you want to... That movie is custom made for, like, Tweens. the Justin Bieber crowd. Right. But I just wanted to see it. And I liked what I saw. I mean, again, there's you certain lines it in too? it. Certain lines in it that are like, ah, it's a high school movie line or whatever. Like, you know, but just the fact that a guy in, likes a vampire. I mean, a chick likes a vampire... It's this dumb little love story. She's fucking sexy, uh, very cute. Oh, don't try to fucking she change is. She's it beautiful. into something that, you know, you watched it because it's... No, 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 but I'm saying, and the idea, the story so far is pretty cool. It's not, you know, it's just a different vampire story. Yeah. It's not scary, but, uh, you know, who cares? It's scary that you're watching it. <laughs> That's what's scary. Like, fucking, what's wrong? Like, look, sometimes you want to just have some chamomile tea. <laughs> no. And, and put a Snuggie on. <laughs> and watch a movie about vampires. You're, uh, did you get a little emotional? Because I, I would, I would I have not assume seen the end. that it's probably one of these, you know, fucking like. I don't like know what's going to happen. I'll watch the end of it when I get home. Um, I'll watch the second half today. Yeah. Um, no, but I, my 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 eyes were bothering me when ET was on the other day. I think I told you that. Oh right, you tweeted something about that. You were watching ET. What part got you all misty? I didn't get misty. I was just saying there was something in my eyes. Oh, when he was laying in the incubator with Elliot. Oh, and they were like Elliot was dying. I hadn't seen that in so long. Yeah. But as we're watching it, I'm like, yeah, this. 
Must be some mist, uh, something in the air. It's bothered my eyes. I should go take a shower. <laughs> I should go take a shower. I openly wept. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, but it's Jimmy. okay. It ends fine, you know. Aside from the fact that he has to leave ET, you yeah, know, and ET leaves him. lonely and shitty. Yeah. You know. Did you cry at the end too? I didn't see the end. I was in the shower. <laughs> you guys watching the whatever was in your eyes out. Yeah, I had to, I had to mars it up. I was like, yeah, like, I had to get myself bang. bang. You're such That's what a I'm talking sweet about. boy. Jimmy's a sweet boy, <laughs> but I'm I'm a I don't know why I'm, I'm but I can literally go then I can go to blood shows. <laughs> And watch a man burned alive <laughs> for an indeterminate crime. Yeah, it doesn't really make yeah, sense. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. I can watch blood gutted, which is the Chechnyans, Muslim Chechnyans were opening the throats of the other soldiers. And they weren't killing them. They were just slicing their throats almost to the back of their necks and letting them bleed out. See, that doesn't make wow. sense. You, I, and the guys I, were like, <laughs> I tell you, breathe in your throat. Is oh, my never God. Watch that. That's terrible. I never watched that. It's not good. Yeah. And then he's crying at ET. I know it's. And watching it, Twilight. If we're sharing, I'll tell you what made me cry recently. It goes back to celebrity rehab contract. Yeah, <laughs> I'm still crying over that. <laughs> still fucking crying over that. <laughs> Which celebrity rehab? Because I've seen a lot of them this year. Um, Rachel uh, Ucatel, you could tell. Yeah. You could tell, right? Um, her thing is that you know. Well, her thing is that she had sex with Tiger Woods, but they I guess they basically can't say that. She's probably signed a non-disclosure. Yeah, but mm -hmm. so she's in this celebrity rehab, and it's very vague why she's there. Uh, and she lost her fiance on uh, 9/11. Yeah, my my girl, my wife, because I've seen it twice now. Actually, looked over at me on the couch and went, "Oh, oh no, ew." I know, I know, but it oh, ew. But it kills me to this day because I remember 9/11 like it was yesterday. Like most of us, especially us hanging out and living here in New York. And she went down to Ground Zero and uh, ran into another uh, survivor, a uh, guy yeah. who lost his, I, I believe, his wife. And they had a little exchange, and it just kills me. I hated that. Fucking scene. kills me. Why? I, know, I remember because it was fat. You think it was fabricated? No, I, I mean, think it, I think they went down there. Uh, basically, celebrity rehab uh, leaves like we have unfinished business with Rachel after they all quote graduated from their uh, weekend at the celebrity rehab house. They're bullshit. Yeah, and then they go down to Ground Zero with Rachel Ucatel just because she's never been there. So they film her, and what are you feeling, and all that? And she just happens to run into this guy that's pretty much there every day because he lost his wife. And and he's like still, you know. I think he's sincere. Yeah. But it just was You too saw that scene? It didn't bother you? No, it annoyed me. I was like, yeah. I said to like chick, I was like, this fucking, and this is annoying. Really? And I, yeah, I wasn't afraid to be emotional. Did you just, find that scene online possibly? She, the guy walks up to, look, she's a 10. And the guy walks up to her and just starts bonding with her in front of a camera. And then he yeah. hugs her. I was like, oh, fuck off. Like if she, if it was a private moment that they had filmed from far away, it would have been different. Yeah. But if, who wouldn't walk up to the hot chick with the 10 and hug her? Well, Thank he, God we have a bond. Let me push those tits against me. <laughs> well, he said. Like he was curious, he's like wondering what they were filming, and then uh, he went up. He seemed he seemed sincere. I'm sure he I, was. I gotta stick up for the but guy I think he was bit. just. I think he was just uh, overly. Uh, I don't know. Just annoyed me. It did lot. annoy oh. you. Wow. Okay. Yeah, but that's why no, it, it got to me twice. Because then I watched the reunion special and they redid the scene. Did again. your girl get sad? Um, she wasn't laughing at me because it. it, it she laughs at me a lot <laughs> of dumb things I do, but uh, no, I don't think she did. She right. felt she felt bad for me, and I said I just remember you know that time was just so fucking brutal mm. to live through. Yeah, I've, I've been very suck. touched by nine eleven stories, just not that not their kind. That one didn't get you, yeah. That no. one got me because her big fat tits. He had to hug her. It would have been sadder for me if it was a woman who approached her. Not an older guy who had the same motives I would have had, which is to feel those fat fucking <laughs> Tiger Woods humping five million dollar fat juicy Gloria all red cunt tits against my chest. And he and she fucked the talent right out of him because he sucks. Yeah, because now he's had a an off season to get his shit back together. And first tournament back, he came in forty fourth place. Forty fourth place. Uh, no, it's a that's that's yeah that's real old. Oh, as you can see, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, he came in 44th place in a tournament that he usually fucking kills at. Oh. Ran for their lives after that. Let him through, please. And they never saw it. This is not it, right? Yeah, no, that's not it. We watched just what, random 9-11 videos. The towers are still there. No, that's, her. <laughs> that, that's her. That's what she used to look like. Oh, that was her? Yeah, that was her, man. She was all over the news when 9-11 uh, hit. Huh. Oh, okay. Because she was, like, begging for, for people to find her um, fiancé. Yeah. And she had the. She was one of those girls that was oh, on TV, wow. uh, TV a lot with the picture and all God, that. God, do I want to lick her? I, I want to lick from the back of her neck, down her ass crack, upper pussy, 
uh, scrape her tits and give her a peck <laughs> right, right in her nose. She's she's not hot when she takes those sunglasses off. She's funny looking. Oh, she's hot, dude. Oh, she's Tiger, funny she, looking, she milked man. five million golfer dollars. She's a fucking sexy. Um, oh, Rachel, you can tell is sexy. She's a little older. I mean, you know, she's like 34, 35, but oh, those eyes, but when those uh, glasses come off, I don't know. This I, I don't fucking, eye. I don't care if she Funny fucking has a man. lazy eye and a patch. These <laughs> crazy Egyptians are now like the, pre some of the president's uh, supporters yeah. are just riding through the crowd of protesters on horses and whipping people. And like, just, it's like a battle from the 1800s. Holy shit. A I guy's on a camel. There's a guy on a camel. How are we the one guy to going to work. The rest of the world. <laughs> like, I go to work. Right. <laughs> like, trading it for someone's daughter in a hat. <laughs> How the fuck are we supposed to relate to a guy on a camel with a, a whip? A camel. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's some violence going on now. See, the, instead of having the army or the police officially can't really have do the, the army, dirty right. work, right? He's got uh, goons. These protesters, these uh, pro Mubarak protesters, which meanwhile are probably cops and military out of their uniforms, uh, beating the fuck out of the protesters. Yeah, but the protesters are just gonna fuck it. It's hard to get guys off a horse, but if you could pull that guy off a horse, they'll just beat a couple of those guys to death. Oh yeah, I've seen Braveheart. <laughs> what were they doing? Like to, I just doing. watched that. What were they doing to him? Before he, what were they doing to him with that hook? Taking the disemboweling him. Oh, they were. Yeah, they were cutting him his abdomen and pulling his intestines out. Why don't they show that? Or do they show that? I think they 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 alluded to it when the midgets were playing. You know how the midgets were doing the pregame show? I don't remember. Yeah, they, they, the midgets were doing it, and they were kind of acting out what was going to happen to him. And at one point, they take a a fake blade and cut open one of the midgets, and then he had rope. In his shirt, oh. and he was pulling the rope out to show that, like, they cut you open and rip your intestines out. So it was kind of that was kind of the way. Now, that why they if, let you know. if you say mercy, what do they do? Uh, then they just chop your head off. Give oh, your, they kill no, they you. They send a doctor in to sew you up. Oh, <laughs> oh I didn't know what they were doing. <laughs> no, they give you uh, they give you an instant death like that. But oh. they just he what he wouldn't you know give in. But more importantly, this is really breaking. Like, what the fuck's going on? Could someone help us out? Uh, yeah, they're, they're, they they they. It's getting ugly in uh, Cairo now. Yeah, now today. there's there's a uh, clash. And the military is basically saying they want an end to the protest. Calls for an end to protest. Who? The military. Egyptian military uh, is calling for an end to the protest. But it's getting ugly, man. With the video we just saw with the camel and the and the yeah, guys the on horses. horses and they're, uh, There's no way they're going to stop at this point. Isn't that going to just piss people off? Well, I think they have the most... It's not Iran. This it, is a different situation. This is weird, though. They have the maximum amount of people that they can get because there's been no real danger. But now that you add an element of danger that you might get fucked up, I think they're going to get some people that won't show up to these but things. But they might get more people who show up angry. You gotta... Do you think? I think most people that would show up have shown up. You're like, why right. wouldn't you go? It's like a party. You could just hang out, say, fuck the president, and uh, no one's going no to fuck you up. Uh, but now you might get fucking oh, okay. you might get killed. People are like, all right, it's dangerous. I don't want you going down there, or don't go down there, or I don't want to go down there. And Andrew, I don't know. And Anderson Cooper has uh, gone to high ground. You see that? Oh, he said, he, fuck this. I'll, I'll, report, I'll report from a roof. <laughs> Where is he actually there, though? Yeah. yeah, he was on the ground. Those guys aren't ballsy, though. I mean, Today he's on a roof. Like, fuck that. Yeah, there's because there's some shit going on in the streets now. You know what? You got to give those guys credit. Like As much as we trash them, there are some balls on those dudes, man. Yeah, they do go to some weird Fuck, fucking places. Fuck, dude, they go everywhere. Yeah. I would never be there. Just green screen it. Who cares? Yeah. Just say you're there. Just have mm -hmm. me stand in front of, like, your fucking shot of the pyramid. Hey, something's happening here. Yeah, oh, oh you should see this. Back it's to crazy. you. Over there, five <laughs> feet from me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, getting back to exit through the uh, gift shop, Banksy's uh, was known for the, the West Bank stuff he did. Yeah, on the wall. Did you? I think we. It was I, great. Is that why they called him Banksy? No, they actually think they know who he is, though. <laughs> I've seen a photo of who they think he is. A very average guy named Robin something. Gunningham. Gunningham. You who, know this, Danny? You know a little bit about this? Who's out? Uh, they have oh, yeah. a picture of him squatting in fucking Danny saw Jamaica shit. with a spray can. They think that's him. Danny was all over this shit. Like you liked it, Danny? Two, three months. Yeah, ago. I loved it. I I, uh, I saw it and I wasn't quite sure about it. And uh, like halfway through the movie, I'm just like, I, I just have a feeling if I stick with this, I'm gonna like it. And sure enough, I loved it, and I couldn't, I still can't shut the fuck up about what, it. Uh, what's your take on the movie? I don't want to know. 
I don't want to know. <laughs> what like, you feeling? I it it could go either way. I don't want to ruin anything for anybody who hasn't seen it out there. But uh, you know, well, well, fucking see the movie already. Yeah, you should if you have. I was late to the fake. party and I saw it. It, it could three, be. Three weeks it, ago. it could be. It could. What be. could be fake about it though? Well, the 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 way that. Uh, uh, you know, Mr. Brainwash, uh, the way that he came to be and the way and some of his behaviors and, and some things just kind of hit you the wrong way. And you go, I, you know what? I think that maybe Banksy created this guy. I think maybe that Banksy, like this is Banksy oh, pulling the wool over everyone's thing. eyes. But then the more that you look at it, you go, you know what though? Like this Mr. Brainwash, like he really kind of is douchey. Like who could really be that douchey? And then you start looking into the film that he was trying to make originally, uh, Life like, Remote really? Control. And you start digging and digging and digging. Right. And like, you know, you go on YouTube, you see that there was a trailer for Life Remote Control posted back in 2006. Then all of a sudden you go, maybe this guy's fucking for real. Huh. But so I just don't even want to know because I well, love had no all intention the of ever making a film, though. By the way, yeah, he just got obsessed Not a with these guys. Well, if if you're following the plot line of the movie, yeah. then no, he he never yeah. really intended to make. But a he made everyone movie. think he was actually making a documentary, but he never made a documentary before, so he was he was way <laughs> way over it's his just, head. The, the, either way, if, if Mr. Brainwash is just a legit guy and everything in the film happened as it was, you know, as it, as you're led to believe it was, or if Banksy is just some super genius that actually made Mr. Brainwash and conned the entire world into thinking that. This like to, I, either way, it's great. Of, of course, I would it's like to, just fucking. Great. I would like to think he created Mr. Brainwash. I, if he did, it's great. It is, you know, <laughs> either, <laughs> either they're, they're in on it to get. They they became friends, and and then uh, Banksy goes, "Well, I got a really good idea for you and and, and myself." Could be. That's what I like to think <laughs> happened. I, I, and he knew this guy could pull it off, Mr. Brainwash. It's not so much that I like to think one thing and someone else likes to think another thing. I just like that people talk about it this much. Or, or it could mm. just be exactly. That's how a good it movie. Is. No one's, no one's walking out of, uh, you know, out of the next Adam Sandler piece of shit, going, "Yeah, what do you think about that?" <laughs> two months later, <laughs> oh, we're not boy. still talking about it. But this film, two months later, <laughs> By still the way, Adam about Sandler it. will be on the show in a couple of weeks. Oh, uh, sorry, Adam. Is he coming on? <laughs> yeah. What, uh, what day? I'm not, I'm not really sure yet. Oh, Roll will give us a date so I can make sure I'm here. Yeah, oh, it's true. to promote his uh, latest. Uh, <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> uh, he's hard to get. He doesn't do a lot of radio. We had him yeah. on once. Did you on the phone or in person? On the phone. I've, yeah. I've never met him. Oh, we had him on the phone. <laughs> but he was on the phone there. He called up on the telephone. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna call you up on the telephone. <laughs> is that Adam? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sure. It's just whatever it is. That's I don't know what it is. Matter. I don't get that. Hey man, it's one less interview. Fuck it. Let's blow it up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's blow it up right now. That's we're we're not starstruck anymore. <laughs> Fuck it. I am. <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, that means you don't have a picture with Adam. Sailor, oh, yeah. nice. That's what that <laughs> means. Look at these clashes. They're great, man. Yeah, now this is action packed. That good enough for those in the streets? So far, not yet. Whipping demonstrators. Oh, the horse just million. fell down. Oh. It's hard for us to say how many are in the streets. Yeah. Is it 10,000? Is it more than that? Those guys are going to be killed 000? for whipping those demonstrators. Clear. Yeah. Uh, we have <laughs> Dominic Di Natale live in Cairo, a report coming up it's like in Mardi a matter Gras. of moments as he and Greg Palcott has take, have taken us rather uh, throughout the morning. Yeah, and, and you know, the remarkable thing about this is that it, we saw a fairly peaceful relationship yesterday between the army and the protesters. They were allowing the people to be out there and protest, but now you have this pro Mubarak faction <laughs> that is coming out. There's also been some things on our <laughs> wires about perhaps they're working for the security forces themselves. It looks like so that's what it's trying to be that see this clash in the street. And it makes you wonder. Uh, Jose Mubarak is in a tough position right now. He said, guess what? I'm not going to run again. Uh, it looks like it would have been pretty difficult for him to be reelected in this environment. Not only wow, it's getting looks over. like Egypt stock. Ah, uh, <laughs> or that, Chip. <laughs> Egypt stock. <laughs> let, me, uh, let me go to Sean in uh, North Carolina. Sean. Hey, boys. How are you? Hello. Uh, you got something on exit through the gift shop. Uh, I don't know if you guys have said this yet, but don't you just think that the guy is Banksy? That, like, I thought of that, too. I absolutely absolutely I, thought of that as well. I thought of that, too. The French guy, but no, because... I like to think Banksy's uh, cooler than I that. I think he's British, and this guy's French. But but when he finally got up, stepped up to make his art, it looked so much like Banksy stuff. And, and also the fact that, yeah. okay, if this guy's a documentary filmmaker or wanted to be one, has a family, you think he was that gifted of an artist and just never tried it? And all of a sudden, it was Did like, you see yeah, how the art got made, dude? Yeah, yeah, well, no, he wasn't a gifted artist. He was, produ he was having other people copy Banksy's style and just kind of selling it. Yeah, like, he was having like, like he did something. He, he didn't was really having do shit anything. printed out, and he was just going, do this and do that, and then they were doing it. He wasn't doing it. Yeah, but he was doing a lot of the cutting. All right, you know. But <laughs> no, you're not, no, he didn't. They, you never see him on film creating any of his own work. Yeah, but the, my Jimmy's absolutely right. But then I think maybe Banksy actually did make pieces that's not in the film that fucking... For him. 
to make it look like Banksy work. Right. To sell it. Right. So I don't know. I, I don't know. I'd like to see I'd like to see Robert Gunningham's tax returns from uh, from this coming uh, year. Look at that. Because <laughs> I bet you he made a fuckload of money in the United uh, States. Uh, I bet you he doesn't claim them. It's probably to a corporation. It's probably to a dummy corporation as we call it. I don't know how smart people oh, yeah, do things. And Jimmy. Kenny, Kenny, Kenny Incorporated. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny Inc. <laughs> dummy yes, sir. <laughs> Got me. Did, did he get you? Yes. Oh uh, yeah, he did. Legitimate. He did. Legit. Damn. Who's Ripples? Ripples in the Arab world. Why Yemen, is he over there? Yemen leader won't uh, seek re-election. Well, Travis, what's up? Ripples. We don't whisper on this show. Why are you whispering? We share. Yeah, we share, and then you have what's to up, end Travis? up in a meeting. Even if, it's, even if it's mundane, which makes it even better. What do you mean, even if, You're, when it's... You were, <laughs> yeah, you were just exactly. whispering to Danny. What was yeah, it about? I was, I was walking down the hallway, and then I walked in, and everybody looked at me, so I asked Danny if everyone was laughing at me. We are. 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 You know, Anthony looks, and then Jim looks as I walk in. I'm oh, like, and then we all start what laughing they and yeah. laughing. Oh, the paranoia that around here. Uh, it's, it runs, <laughs> ra it runs rampant. Hey, the Staten Island, uh, 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 what is it down there? Groundhog. Groundhog, yeah. Staten Island Chuck or we, something. We got right? some audio on the Staten oh, Island Chuck. Oh, great. Here's that moment at the, the Staten Island Zoo this morning. So, uh, Staten Island Chuck does not see his shadow, and it was a groundhog consensus this year. Punxsutawney Phil came out a little earlier this morning and did not see his shadow either, with uh, many cheers. I fucking hate Wow, Punks. that, what a non-moment that just was. I don't blame the guy. Fucking Punxsutawney <laughs> Phil is fuck. By the way, worst hairdo fucking... ever on fucking TV right now. Oh, God. What is that fucking rotten little... Terrible woman. Yeah, she... Oh, well, was, oh more, uh... The, the, uh <laughs> the rock from That's live from Cairo. Look, they're throwing rocks. Of course they are. I love their rock throwing. There's some fucking... There's trucks making a blockade. And there's people throwing rocks. There's some guy's got a cardboard shield. They're LARPing in Egypt. Don't they're they, LARPing. Don't the people kind of need the military to help them out on this one, Ant? Um, yeah, like, well, like, how do you, like... Overthrow this guy without the military's help. But who are the who are the people you're fucking going after? Well, the military. Who said they have a vested interest in this guy? I, I my, my prediction he he ends up lasting because there's no guy ready to step in. Yeah, and now there's and that's what fucks this whole thing up. Forces throwing a monkey wrench into this whole thing, and they can't fucking decide on an opposition leader. Right. I don't want the yeah. Muslim Brotherhood. No, even though uh, even though it would be exciting. Did these <laughs> people not hear about Staten Island Chuck. Yeah, that what? was such a non thirty second. Oh. I mean, the Egypt people. Oh. Yeah, the Egypt people. Yeah, that's good. The How Egypt old people. are you? <laughs> <laughs> the Egypt are the Egypt people okay? They're Egyptians, you blithering the ninny people. <laughs> oh, ninny. Yeah. <laughs> well, we we I can't. Uh, you know, until the test comes back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When does that happen? When do we get your fucking uh, DNA results and find out what race you are? Is I that soon? Oh, it was sent. Soon, yeah. 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 Mm. I'm nervous. Wait, Are you nervous a little no. bit? I don't care. You don't care? What if it does come back and proves that you um, uh, do have some African-American uh, blood in your background? I will be interested in tracing some genealogy a bit more closely he to was find born out. a slave but he died a businessman <laughs> <laughs> was that that's from, uh, like an, from ancestry.com's ancestry commercial. commercial i wanted to look up my ancestry but i kind of knew what was going to come up a black guy sure and he goes so i looked it up and found out my great great grandfather was born a slave but he died a businessman and he's all proud he's holding the picture Did he say of his business <laughs> Well, he's just a bin business man, business man. I don't know. Probably some, business. I, I don't know. Some of you figured out. <laughs> no, he says just... something like that. I, I hate the Ancestry.com commercials because the one guy is like all psyched that his, his great great grandparents lived next door to the Wright brothers. And it's, at it's the incredible. end, he's holding a picture of the Wright brothers with the right flyer. And it's like, you were just their annoying neighbor. Probably a nosy. What are you building? Hey, what are you building? Orville, what are you building? Yeah. Just annoying neighbor. Are there going to be movies on those things? <laughs> <laughs> How much for my lagage? <laughs> they had an accent. I'm not going to fly in that. <laughs> what is it? Yeah, yeah what, what are you guys like, the wrong brothers? He was. <laughs>
He was probably the guy that said, if man were meant to fly, he'd have wings. Just the grouchy <laughs> yeah. neighbor guy. Ah, they got that engine running at all hours. Yeah. If, if it was for his dumb great-great-grandfather, if he got it his way, we'd still be fucking covered wagoning it yeah. across the country. Why don't you build a bell that alerts you when there's a Negro in town? <laughs> That's what he did. <laughs> yeah. He just went off once in a while, always outside his wife's bedroom. <laughs> I tried Ancestry.com. and uh, you did? Yeah, I, I went on there. Go see those little leaves come up and you click on it. But then there's too many different options. Like, I don't fucking know. I'm only able to trace back, like, fucking, nah, like, up to my grandparents' parents, you know, kind of a thing. And only one of them. That's a, that's a photo album. I know. <laughs> That's just it. Anything you want after more that than that? Some fucking, you know, looking like Michael Corleone is going to drag him into a courtroom <laughs> right. so his brother doesn't testify. Well, don't they have to do it? Like, like after you give a couple information, it's like, yeah, this is me. They let that fucking. No, they do don't it. have to. It's almost like a. Uh, it's almost like um, uh, internet. It's almost like an internet of uh, ancestry. <laughs> what happens is you. Uh, you got to get a guy you though put, you that put, sorts through all that <laughs> shit and realizes the the zeros that were in your family tree that don't mean shit no, here's and a, get the ones with the stories. But here's what you got to do: you got to put in as much info as you can get, and then somebody else that might be related to you that might have used ancestry. That's where you get the leaf from. It links wow. up to theirs and constantly like starts connecting family members with other family members that knew some shit. So I might have a cousin in California that went on ancestry. Right, but you're, but you're doing it all yourself. You should really get a guy that could just sort through that. I don't care that much. I just figured, let me see how far I could like go. Like that, that TV show, what is it called? Oh, and, and Brooke Shields was on it. Yeah, it was... Uh, where you're from. Where, where you're from. Yeah. Uh, where did I... Yeah, but I don't care. Yeah, but they I'm curious. Like I'm just they kinda, get they get one guy to do all what you're doing to to find the 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 people in your family tree that have a real story, and then they blow off all the other crap. Uh, Sarah Jessica Parker Parker did oh, it. Likely. Secretariat in her background. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid horse. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, you're Are you on a movie set to a triple to crown winner. Yeah. <laughs> they wonder why she runs around the living room whenever there's a Budweiser commercial played. <laughs> <laughs> she, she cries at the wrong part of the Godfather. Father. <laughs> ah, <don't>. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, I, I, fa I found like uh, some old um, census <laughs> shit from like the early 19, cool. 1903 and shit like that. And it had like my grandmother's <laughs> parents and their census. That's pretty and it cool. And had her, her in there. So I kind of started clicking on shit and adding some shit. And I haven't checked in a while. Maybe some, some new More stuff is some up there. Some new shit is up there. So. All right. Oh, I got plugged. My band is gonna be playing soon. Oh, what's your wow. band, Chip? We're getting back together. <clears throat> oh, cool. Uh, burning embers. Burning embers. Yeah. <laughs> Who are these guys from school? Yes, yeah, some guys I used to play with. Burning ember. Ew. <laughs> Great name. Yeah. <laughs> CD's coming soon. <laughs> oh, you put the CD out. Yeah. It's a big reunion. Yeah. What do you do in the band? Sing. Are oh, you a singer? Yeah. What kind of music? <laughs> Just whatever, everything. Covers, originals. What genre? What's that? It <laughs> that depends on what, t what, what, what what's available. No, I mean, like, what type of... Is it rock? Is it Just everything. Country? No, yeah, everything. <laughs> we were very popular. It doesn't sound like people would want to see, like, oh, a bunch no, of different types of music. Shit. I wouldn't go. We were very good. Like, if I, gotta, if I like rock and I got to sit through some country, I'm not going to want to see you guys. I wouldn't buy the CD, for sure. Burning Ember. Yeah, well, it's bestseller. Is it a bestseller? You haven't um, put what? it out yet. I have. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm lying, Chip. Chip's a liar. Hey, um, he just tells you what he thinks he wants. Fucking liar. <laughs> Steven Singer's here, guys. We gotta take a break. He's got Steven. gifts. He got. He's got gifts. Oh my God! Secret. Don't don't fucking ruin it, because I don't want to know what the gift is. Secret surprise gifts. Oh my God! I know. I it's gonna be a rose. Holy shit! shit. But, yeah, it's gonna be a rose. How great would it be if Steven's gift? Was uh, an, an announcement about his health. <laughs> <laughs> I saw him in the uh, hallway. He's a very nice man. He's uh, he is a good guy. All right, we'll break. I would say he's a good guy. He's a nice man. That uh, <laughs> is, is he the, drove all the way from pretty, Philly. Yeah, he drove at four o'clock in the morning. All right, we'll, we'll, assistant here. We'll give oh, him. Yeah. We'll give him ten minutes.
Well, no, you can give him. He oh drove from. God. If he drove from Philly, we'll give him a solid ten minutes. From the yeah. ice storm, all the from the other corner of Eighth and Walnut. Yeah, all, all the way to here in an wow. ice storm. We'll give him. Yes. Uh, we'll give him twelve minutes. That's fair. You could do more than that. I feel he like. rode up on a camel with a whip. <laughs> <laughs> Just whipping his assistant all the way up <laughs> yeah. with her gold covered rose. Right. Yeah, <laughs> that's what he does. That's perfect. I, w- I want to take a gold covered rose. And uh, I, I want someone to put it in my ass like in Caligula. <laughs> Do you remember after Malcolm used his, uh, I mean, that's probably not the intention of the gold rose. Probably but not, but. That was one of my favorite things. He puts it in the lard on top of Proculus's hiney. Yes, yes. It's very embarrassing for the married couple. Big fist full of lard. Yay. Oh, that's great. All right, uh, yes, Steven Singer coming in, uh, I guess. Uh, yes, we do. After a few words. Boy, a, this should be really exciting. Yeah, he's, quite, uh, he's got he's a story to tell. He, was, sure. he had to drive through the ice storm. He's selling all kinds of crazy jewelry. Oh, yeah. Making money. Come on. Making it rain. It's Why couldn't he be the guy they just found in that car overnight? Oh, oh no. the guy who no, shot himself. Come you on. mean? Well, I didn't say this that. Steven. But You're saying that. I mean, that's the guy. That this guy's you... a legend in uh, Philly and saying, maybe, all over the country. Maybe and I was jewelry. talking about it. Uh, maybe it was a gas thing. The jewelry. Where he ran world. out of gas and had to, you know, be in a car all night. But yeah. even so, why would you want him to run out of gas? I don't understand. Mm. He's a legend in Philly. He knows Mumia Abu Jamal. <laughs> <laughs> That part is <laughs> Steven Singer is hated more. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this fucking guy will be in next. <laughs>